Hey YouTube, uh, this is Connie here. Just to give you a little bit of history, in case you're new, about three weeks I got a warning from my landlord about having three cats. And it's kind of ridiculous. I figured piss on it because everybody in the building has cats. Somebody even has a dog. And of course when I got told I was supposed to get rid of my cats, I figured it's probably, you know, not an isolated incident so i went and i told everybody else in the building like hey the landlord's pissed off he, he wants everybody to get rid of the pets or he's trying to say it stinks in the hallways and nobody really cared because they all have permission to have pets so i thought well fuck him i'm not going to get rid of my cats and i didn't hear anything from him up until yesterday i went up to the store i was only gone maybe 10 minutes and of course I never lock my door. I'm, I'm in a really small town, like nothing ever happens around here. So I was only gone for a little while and I got back and basically it's notice to correct violations. There's so much wrong with this. Anyway, it says, um, can't see it. Well, no animals are allowed per your lease. It's been reported to the office that there are three cats in your unit. It's been reported there is a smell of cat urine in the hallways. And that multiple cats are being seen in the windows of your unit after our office has contacted you about said cats. Who is watching my place? Who is watching my windows? And who, who put this on my door? I don't think it was the landlord. I mean, because he, he never comes. But whoever did, waited until I left in that small window of time and came and put this on my door. But did they did they open the door? Because my door was unlocked. I'm like, I'm... Here's another thing. You are hereby required to correct said violation within three days after service on of this notice. We will be coming to make sure all violations have been corrected on... Five, five, oh nine, five oh nine. Three days after five oh nine. <laughs> You're a little late, motherfucker. But all I can really think about now is he's probably going to be coming within three days as of yesterday. So I got to find a place to put my cats. And I, I did text him and I said, so everybody's got to get rid of their cats. And he didn't respond. Like he's not acknowledging the fact that he let everybody else have a pet. Like he, there's no, this is how you're going to talk to me. You can't. Somebody is, somebody is messing with me. Somebody is trying to hurt me. I feel like I am being watched. I feel like somebody's out to get me. Because anybody that truly knows me knows that my pets, my cats, are my life. Like, if you were going to mess with my cats, you might as well be... I mean, they're my kids. Don't... Don't... I don't bother anybody. I don't hurt anybody. I don't like drama. I'm a total introvert. I don't go anywhere. Ever since I lost my job that I loved, I don't do anything now. The depression and, and the anxiety is... is debilitating this is why I don't leave this is why I don't leave my house because I don't know you know it's like as soon as I did as soon as I went to the store maybe gone 10 minutes and this fucking shit who's watching my place that's what I want to know and I'm not being paranoid I know I'm not being paranoid now anyway um I've got a few videos that I had recorded um of the kitties they're sleeping right now, but I got to try to find, figure out what I'm going to do. I mean, I tried to keep them out of the windows ever since the first time I got bitched at. But I can't keep three cats out of the windows. They got to look outside. They got to run outside. They're young. They got to play. I can't, you know, I just don't get it. I mean, somebody has a bone to pick with me or somebody just doesn't like me or I don't know I try to treat everybody the way they treat me but 
or the way I would want to be treated, I should say, sorry. I'm going to have a smoke and I'm going to um, do the damn thing. Have a good day.